Hello friends, Sniz here, and today we are back again. Did I... I probably mentioned it before, but uh, I really liked Wondroid a little too much. Uh, did it way too much. Um, in this one, I'm saving Cat, who is from the first season, I believe. Yeah, no, definitely from the first season, and I don't even know how many Wondroids there were to save. I just know I saved them all and bought the prettiest ones. And Roxy, because... Andy couldn't get her. Uh, anyways, that was a tribute to him, so that's why I kept her around. Uh, but I did really want Eve and Adam, so I ended up doing all of them, and then I wanted them again on another character I thought I was going to second main, because I because I knew eventually I was going to going to start at least somewhat duoing on my Thunderbreaker, and that did end up happening. Uh, my girlfriend ended up starting playing with me, and. We leveled our bucks together, which is originally what I thought we were going to do together. But as soon as she got to like fifth job, I realized like I don't want to play a second main and basically do all my dailies with her and then leave no time for doing dailies on Sniz. So I started doing the majority of my dailies with her on my Thunderbreaker. Uh, I still consider it solo progression because for the most part I am... I, I've already cleared this these uh, events or dailies solo, so I know I can do them by myself. It's just I'm trying to help her get to a point where she can do them by herself. And also, it's just bonding too, so it works out in the end. Either way, Wondroid was in the background. I think she was playing a Night Lord, which... Unlike popular uh, opinion, uh, she absolutely hates. So she was not that interested in the game yet. Uh, she was... Basically, my <laughs> she's basically a person I use. I didn't use, but like I, I had her play with me so I could level Legion mules without wanting to die myself, and uh, it worked out in the end because she ended up finding classes that she did enjoy and eventually found Buck, uh, and then decided to get it to fifth job. So I was surprised she liked fourth job so much, but still she did and we ended up doing that. But since she was playing Night Lord at this time and absolutely hating it, even though she wouldn't tell me, uh, she did not end up getting a one droid. Uh, <laughs> she still talks about it, so she's waiting for the event to come back and hopefully they either add something new that's year round and permanent, or, you know, one droid is like guaranteed to come back like once or twice a year because we've only had two seasons so far. And I was lucky enough that I started playing around the time this season came back. So, without that, with all that said, I will join you in the next clip I have. I mentioned I liked one droid, right? Because I think I fit, I saved Roxy in this one. I think I was motivated to do it because of Andy, and this was actually the second entry. So this was I got through the first stage without killing the android so I didn't get kicked out and got to save two in one day which was very very nice. Uh, yeah, I still liked one droid. Eventually I didn't really think it was important to show but uh, there are link skills in the game and they are very helpful and I knew since I was going to start leveling legion a lot more that I should take pro action and get them done for the future. So Aran's link skill actually makes combo orbs useful prior to like 100. 100 they start getting fairly useless, but it multiplies the EXP you gain from them by like over 600%, so six times as effective. And Aran is just inherently strong. I think I have already done Mercedes and I'm not going to show that one because it was just awful. Uh, it was not strong. It's not a strong class at all and its link skill is so good, but I did suffer all the way to 140, and it's still 140, just for the Legion so I don't have to come back to it for a while. I do believe that Iran was a better choice, would have been a better choice to level first because I could have gotten the early Mercedes levels done much quicker since Iran just barely needed anything. It's just so inherently strong. But other than that, I just continued leveling this. I think I did this in like two sittings. I did uh, 10 to 100, then I did 100 to 140. 
did I mention I liked one droid as an event like I honestly did not have any issue with the jump quest uh, after at this point so it was kind of like a daily at this point like save two one droids and wait for the next day so you could save two more uh, I would actually sometimes just stop playing after saving them because you know there wasn't much uh, yeah really did enjoy one droid like a little too much for one person other notable things I did is that between all of the events going on and uh, a link skill, I did end up receiving my superior Golix ring. I would not recommend this at all, actually. I would recommend you get the reinforced ring and earring first because if you can get that and get to the point where you can fight hard looks and get the four set, so either two pendants or a pendant and a reinforced belt, uh, you will get 15% IED. And the reason this is important is because since I made it clear I was going to fight Helix by myself first before I started receiving carries or anything, and I it just got to the point where I can clear it easily by myself. Um, the superior Golix ring was not a good first investment. I should have bought in the reinforced ring, reinforced earring, and then started hard looks, gotten the four set hard Golix set effect for 15% IED, which would have made Helix so much easier at the beginning. I could have probably done it much easier, except I still played like a fucking dumbass. Uh, yeah. Other than that, in the next clip, I started- I covered it before, but I was doing Dimension Invasion, and I finally received gloves. Uh, I don't think it was the gloves I wanted, but- oh, it was. Maybe I'm just dumb. So I got the regular Dimension gloves, and it was a decent upgrade for the time, and, you know, it was beneficial. The only other, like, I guess this is rather big, is since Wondroid was out, Wondroid had a dungeon where you could kill monsters for coins to buy Wondroids and the Wondroid heart, but you could also get a, like absolutely shit ton of trait options, like trait uh, items. So I did get 30 charm through it, and I got my pocket slot unlocked and used a Hilla pocket item as placeholder. Surprisingly, there was a lot done with during the course of Wondroid, even though I didn't level that much. Charm also has an additional effect of allowing you to uh, unlock facial expressions, permanent facial expressions for free without having to buy them via NX. So if you want to better represent yourself with emoticons, emotions, whatever, uh, feel free to level up your charm. Uh, the only, this was a really good way to do it. You can do it with trait potions, but I really only recommend getting your charm to 30, then prioritizing like ambition, insight, or uh, empathy, I think. Whatever, there's, there's three major traits besides charm. One gives you 10% IED, which is ambition at level 10, Insight gives you like 5 or 10% ignore elemental or re resist uh, and an elemental resist, which is actually an interesting concept. Most mobs actually have, well, most boss monsters have uh, elemental resistance and PDR. PDR is, IED, is what IED affects, which is their percent damage reduction or their damage reduction in general. And then elemental resistance is completely separate. It's actually like resistance to fire and other elements but for bosses and a lot of them they resist physical which is just any attack it doesn't have to be just magic it's just any attack that affects them so ignore elemental resist is a very rare uh passive because it's only present in passive skills that your class uniquely gets or, and the only general way to get them is through uh, insight, which is elemental resist, and that is the big one. The other one is you can get like 10% buff duration, I don't know if I already said that, but you can, and that's always helpful because, especially as a Lumi or other classes that need their buffs up longer, uh, yeah, it's helpful, and in general it's helpful because that's 10% longer that you don't have to go buffing yourself, I guess. 
So yeah, spending all that time doing one droid did end up paying off. I finally got the heart, even though I had more than enough coins for it, I believe, at the time, because I did not know how to do math or whatever. I thought I was going to get Rhea, but uh, at this point in time, one droids were glitched that certain... <laughs> Certain models were actually traps, as in girl models could only wear male clothing and such, and guy models could only wear girl clothing as such. So uh, I did not get Rhea, I got Roxy, and then I was like, okay, I got Roxy, that's a placeholder, it's damage upgrade, and uh, you know, I'm just gonna star my heart, and I already get a huge damage boost from that. Then I went and decided to e-pod it, which, you know, is a 50% chance you get it or you don't. And I was satisfied with Roxy, but I, I did still want Adam and Eve. And I had to wait for a maintenance to happen so I could even access the Adam and Eve uh, portion. Because at the time of release, initial release of Season 2, unless you had completed Season 1 the first time it came around, you no one had access to Season 2. Because... If you completed season one after the release of season two, you would get stuck right here on this, well, on the boss that I'm currently looking at. After you kill it, you just cannot accept the quest. Uh, you could not turn in the quest and complete the mission. But it was, I think this was after the maintenance, so I turned it in uh, and I finally completed season one. Then I got to the point of Adam and Eve and I did the small pre-quest, which Probably would have been easier with drop gear because the items actually took forever to fucking drop. But it happened. I got it. I discovered uh, the the chair. Got the season two unlocked, and I was on my way to unlock Eve. Then I found out you have to do Adam as well, and I guess to my enjoyment, I did Adam as well and bought both. One droid was a lot of fun. I, I don't know if I said that already. Anyways. Other than that, I'll see you later, friends.